हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 61 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ईकॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू परफॉर्म द एडिट एड्रेस फंक्शनलिटी इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन फेच द डेटा एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल परफॉर्म द अपडेट फंक्शनलिटी बेसिकली वी आर डूइंग द क्रेड फॉर द एड्रेस राइट सो लेट्स डू द लेट्स डू दैट सो हियर वी हैव एड्रेस लिस्ट राइट so what i will do i will copy this link uh let's link this uh, or we need only this one right so let's link it here okay and then we will paste it here okay and then here what we will do address slash what we are going to do what we need here this one is address slash what it was let's see uh in our here home let's see let's see where is that all products category title product 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 we actually need all products we actually need the link so what i will do mm, yeah this one is fine so let's copy this okay and paste it here no need for the on click this is some other functionality and here we will need address dot address right no need for the class and two in this two we have address and address dot id okay so it start with this uh, comma and then okay in the curly braces we have all right so let's see here you can see that right so address three and when we click that when we click on this it should open the same form but fill with data right so what we will do i will go to add address i will copy all of this paste here and say update address dot js right so now we have this update address okay so for which we are updating the address for the specific address so what we need to do one more thing we need to do we need to define the url app dot js file right so and uh, so that when we click on this it should open that component right so we created the component but we need to open that component so where is the address so customers let's check here we have address list paste here so let's say customer let's say update address and here we will say address id right so address id and we need to import that from component so we'll say update address from update address and this is the update address right okay so <clears throat> let's see add address is not defined okay i understand it should be here right okay actually the url is not matching uh, what it will it will be customer slash update address let's go back refresh the page click here and you can see that page is loading but we need to change few things here we will say 
update address right and now in here we need to fetch the data okay so what we will do first of all we need to fetch the data so we will take some reference from our product detail because it's also fetching the data so first of all we need this id from this id we can fetch the data so we will use the use params from the react router dom right this will help us to get the id from the url and then we can fetch the data right so let's import this here okay and you can see here from the params we can get that so we have this one and we just need address id whatever we are listing in the app js here the name should be match here okay and then we need uh, we will say the fetch okay so what we will do fetch the data we will fetch the data so i will copy this one all right and then i will go here this one fetch the data base url then address and then address id okay so it it should fetch the data let's see that all right so here we need to set the data data dot result okay it will fetch a lot of things but what we need to do what we will do here let's let's see that what it is returning according to that we will update our state right so let's see use effect is not defined okay use effect i'm sure you are understanding because this is a 61th vd 60 uh, you know the 61 video so i hope you are understanding that what is use state and use effect okay use state is used to update the data get the data you know uh, we keep the data in the use state use effect uh, is a hook uh, it will run when whenever we update or load the page right so we need to remember this okay all right so let's see in the console that what we have right so let's see so we have object here okay so in the set address no need to set address list uh, address form data uh, yeah address form data we need address form data so data dot data dot address data dot we can do this way data dot address and we can okay and value is showing here okay all right so it should show the address but it is not address form data uh, where is the address hmm. Input handler fetch the data. Oh, sorry. Set address. Okay. All right. So here you can see this is showing the data and button is enabled. Now when we click on this, right? So if you remember the add address functionality, when we are clicking, it is saving the data. Now when we click on this, we will hit the URL. We will hit this URL, but with the address id so it will automatically when we say put put method it will automatically update the address according to this id because the url of uh, the the main url the server url is our view set right if you see the view set you will understand that what we are saying drf view set so you can uh, check the reference here right so it will automatically create the url for the crud okay so if you are uh, if you are saying this one 
then it will update it will up it will uh, this is for update and uh, fetch the data if you say this one this will create the data fetch all the list right so here you can see that they are they are saying allow get put patch whatever okay see if we say then uh, here we have a delete head we can perform these actions right so we are here in the three so let's say uh, testing uh, we will say updating address right and uh, let's say submit so what it is saying let's check this network five zero error uh, response but url does not end in a slash okay we need to end in a slash all right so let's change this submit uh, what it is saying incorrect type expected pk value retry received string hmm okay so from the error it is saying it should be in so add address submit expected pk value received string what we are saying request customer address mm. customer is undefined okay customer is not our issue our main issue is the address id our main issue is address id so we need to we are submitting the address id and this is the content type uh, let's say submit response oh this is for the for the customer all right okay so for the customer what we will do uh, let's say okay fine okay so test submit data not saved why it is saying data not saved uh append database your why it is returning so two zero zero okay let's see the response because in the all right let's see here uh, we need to check the console submit yeah okay so we need to match with the 200 not 201 okay here you can see this is returning the 200 right okay so data saved uh, data saved from data oh we don't need this no need to do this anything okay so we'll say testing address okay submit data saved right so this is the uh, functionality that we have done for the update address if you go here in the dashboard in the address you can see testing address right so in the next video we will complete this with a mark as default and then we will move the move to further process maybe we will move to the vendor panel because all of these are completed except the dashboard right uh, we can count this also okay so let's, let's see that uh, suggest that uh, i think we should complete this dashboard then we can we should move to the vendor panel right so yes so in the next video we will complete this dashboard because we have orders total uh, wish list we have address functionality everything is everything we implemented 
next then we will move to the vendor panel and i will try to complete this as soon as possible this project so that we can start a new one right and uh, so thank you so much for watching this video please share subscribe like this channel and uh, if you need the source code of this project you can simply go to the github uh, code artisan lab you can check the repository and you will see there is a some small amount for that so if you go to the multi vendor okay here you can see it access how you can access the source code right and uh, you can also check the website projectplaza.com where i'm upload when when we come uh, when i complete any of the project then i upload to project plaza so that user can uh, purchase the source code from there okay so i'm going to show you the website projectsplaza.com <clears throat> okay so this is the simple process so you just need to pay and uh, price will change according to the progress of the project of course right so this is the website so you can uh, download the project for your practice okay and you can also even use in your production site right because this is all tested and all working okay so thank you so much for watching the video let's meet in the next video thank you